Angela. So today we're going to do a bit of a review on our London bus here. As you can see, this is a huge kit when you see the size of my hands on this thing. It's absolutely massive. Um, I, I could probably get my camera up a little bit higher, I guess, and get the whole box in, but honestly, the, the amount of work I've got to put into doing that just to do run, one review, I'm not going to worry too much. Uh, I do have some bigger kits over there that later on I'm going to have to do that, but uh, I'm just not going to do it for this one. You, you'll be able to get the gist of what's in it anyway. But um, as you see, it's a huge box, and there's a little bit out to each side of the camera. That hands on the edge of the box there, and that one's just out of shot, so that's the edge of the box there. So it is a huge big kit. Uh, I got this one off my mate um, in the local model shop that I've talked about before, um, Shane. And I do have his card here somewhere. Um, just let me find it for you. And I know he had this in stock for a little while. Um, he gave it to me again, like, like always. He gave it to me at a really good price. I'll get the card up the right way. Okay, there we go. So that, that's uh, my mate's model shop, the local one where I bought this from. Gave it to me again for a really good price. Just ignore the prices on the box there. I got it for, I think it was... $20 cheaper than that, um, so yeah, gave it to me for a good price. But give him a ring, guys, if you're interested in grabbing one if you're here in the in the land of Oz, because he does PayPal and mail, um, he'll deliver it out to you and all that sort of thing. But um, as you see, beautiful box art on this, like I just love that 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 box art they've got on that. Uh, on the sides here, they do have some photos of one built up, um, but to tip this up on the side, I don't think it's going to work, guys. So what we'll do, we will open the box up, we'll have a look inside. And all their goodies, and as you see, you've got a big box, but this half of it's empty, um, which you know these things happen. And it's been sitting up on its end too, guys. So that's why everything's sort of split it down to one end. Uh, got our instruction book here. Our first page is just a bit of information about the, the bus itself. These things have got a, a long history um, over in England, uh, which is very interesting. We've got a sprue call out, so there's quite a few of those, a few sprues in the box. Um, so this one's got the full engine, as you can see, it goes through a lot of detail putting the engine together. So you've got a beautifully detailed engine in this thing, which you can do as well. And still going on the engine, then we're putting our chassis together down here in this step here. Again, there's lots of nice little detail going on in this thing. It's not like they're just big square chunks that are just shoved together. There is some nice detail in this, so um, it's going to build up to be quite a nice kit. And we open the bonnet up and show that engine off, all that sort of thing. So, so some beautiful opportunities to do that sort of thing in here. Then we're putting our tyres together. Um, starting to do some interior work as well. Uh, putting our dash and all that sort of thing together here, steering wheel. Um, sort of like the cockpit, I guess you'd call it, for a bus. Um, and that's all separated off. And then we start doing some more interior work. There's so much to do in the interior of this because it's got all the seats and all that sort of thing. We've got glass work, mirrors, um, all that sort of stuff going together there. Then we're doing the full interior here with all the seats. Uh, now these things all have decals, which, which you'll see over on this, um, the next step in the video, you'll see all the decals for the seats. So they've got that um, patchwork um, cloth over them. But as you see, a lot of work, even just putting the, the interior in this thing, she's got all the nice interior detail as well. So, and which is good because you can have all those windows you'll be able to see inside this and see all that beautiful detail in there, putting our steps together with the curled up steps going up the, the top floor, really, really nice. Um, then we're doing our top floor up there, obviously, putting that onto the base, um, starting to put more detail onto the front here now, um, doing all our windows, which I guess the windows is something that you know, you're going to have to sort of work out how you're going to put this thing together if you want to mask them up and put them in now or try and do it you know, later on in the in the step because obviously you can put these in from the outside so you might be able to paint the rig and then put your windows on afterwards to save you masking them all up but it's quite a work even in just doing those got all the grab handles and stuff in there um, mirrors all going together there all the little details going on the outside indicator panels things like that um, and then a little bit of, it looks like it might be exhaust or something going on there I'm not sure what that oh no the exhaust is already in there so it's some what skid plates or something along the side uh, underneath there, and then we've got our decal call outs for outside. Um, and as you see, some big decals to work with in this kit, so that's going to be a challenge on its own, working with them big decals without destroying them. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a huge kit, and there's lots and lots of stuff in it. So here's our decal sheet, <coughs> and as you see, there's all the um, covers for our seats. Um, just yeah, beautiful, they've added all in there. You don't have to worry about trying to paint that, that pattern on there. Then here, here's all the big advertising decals and everything as well. So nice big decal sheet, and I'm going to actually have to put that in a plastic bag, protect it, and 
put them at the bottom of the box because it's starting to get a bit wrinkled, which is a shame. Um, a bit of and stuff. Okay, our first bag here. I'll grab a knife and hack this open. Well, I call it hacking, I guess, because that's what I do when I open these sorts of bags up. But, um, there's just so many screws in this thing, guys. I'm not going to spend too much time on each one. I don't want to bore you too much with this one video. But I just want to show you how nicely moulded some of this is. Because I have actually seen one of these open before. Um, sticky tape there. Hold that together. Get that sticky tape bit off there. That'll make it a bit easier. making a bit of a chore with this, aren't I? It seems to be grabbing on everything I was trying to take the plastic off there. Yeah, yeah, get in there. And a couple of bits of protruding parts on the sprues there that's all getting caught on. There we go, we finally got there guys. Okay, so this is some framework, it looks like it's for the seats. Um, I can see just minor bits of flashing on there it's just but it's really minor and it's sort of where the seams run um, but at least they have attached to the sprue in places where you're going to be able to clean it up when you cut it away it's not going to be too much of a problem but um, so they look nicely molded uh, but like I say just watch that seam lines all going to have to be cleaned up on those there's another sprue for them here um, it's pretty much just a copy of that first sprue we looked at and then on here we've got some more detail, it looks like um, grab handles, things like that, maybe some, I'm really not sure what some of that is, to be honest, maybe exhaust system or something, parts of the engine, not sure, but I think some of these are like grab rail, stuff like that, but again nicely moulded like seats, here's the actual seats themselves, these are the parts you'll have to put the decals on, so probably they'll be painted, um, or put some sort of clear coat over it, so the decals have something to attach to. You see a bit of flashing around a couple of them there that obviously have to be cleaned up um, and you can see one of the hubs there and that's beautiful the detail that's that's molded into that's really really nice so they're going to come up beautiful those really nice um, looks, these must be the posts that hold the seats up again just minor bits of flashing but um really crisp molding in those they're really nicely molded very impressed with some of those and here we have some some of the panels that looks like more just the back panel there and all the into that's the interior part there's obviously an exterior part goes over that surely they won't have them big ugly seat injector pin marks sitting out there hoping you have to clean up like that there must be an outer case and goes over that i would say now we're looking at the interior detail very very nice indeed got all the rivets going on here um, the, the panel running around the back of the windscreen same here beautiful rivet and raised detail it, it, you know, you can almost just look at that and go, oh, that's out of a bus. It just looks so nicely done. Um, again, around these, all the rivet detail on these down here, just gorgeous. Really nice. Like, they're not big, heavy rivets. Um, they're really, really nice for the scale that this thing is in. Very, very nice. And I'm not sure about the Revel plastic. This new stuff, I think, is a lot easier to work with than the original old Revel plastic that we used to get that was all brittle and a bit yucky. Um, or just way too thick to work with. The newer, the newer ones are much, much nicer to, to handle these days than the older ones were. Um, this one here, actually I won't worry about opening the bag because it's pretty much what we've just been through with some more seats and stuff, guys. Um, so we'll go on to something different. Uh, this bag here, and this will give you an idea how big this rig actually is, guys, this one. Um, sticky tape on the other side. Yep. So these sprues will give you a really good indication of the size of this thing and I'll put them up last as well. Okay. So here's the the back panel that I was saying that will go over. Yeah, you know, we had that interior part of the back. This is the exterior part, and again you can see that beautiful rivet detail going on around that whole thing. Very, very nice indeed. Um, nice seam line running over the top there. One of the panels joins the other, but um, you got these. These will have to be taken out, obviously, um, and cleaned up. 
but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. They're joined on there. They're not. They're not overly thick, but they could be finer, I guess. But they shouldn't be too much of a problem to clean up there. They're nice flat surfaces to clean out. Another one's in the side windows here as well. Um, yeah, very nice detail. I just love what, looking at the exterior. I just love the detail they've actually put on this thing. Uh, and it's good that they haven't got it in um, add-ons like um, strips of rivets or something. You've got to stick to it. Um, very, very nice. And here we have. Well, it looks like it's a. Another back, maybe there's a choice. I don't know, guys. And we have to want to go through instructions again to work out. There might be a couple of different options you've got with this thing um, as to what goes where there. Or maybe it's the front of the top and the back of the top. Maybe that's what it is, I'd say. Uh, but anyway, we'll work out when we go out through the actual building of it. But there's our floor, guys. So you can see the size of this thing. She's she's a fair chunk of a machine, and then you still got your cockpit and bonnet set at the front of that. So she's a fair chunk of a machine, this thing. Um, but you got all your flooring in here. Um, you can paint all that up as well. Um, it's attached in nice, easy places to clean up when you cut it off, and in places that hopefully they'll be inserted up underneath the body. You won't see any of that anyway. Uh, but there's rivets all up around the gearbox housing up here. Very nice sort of textured finish over the top of that which is really really nice uh, but yeah really good indicator just how big this thing is guys she's no small kit that's for sure uh, and again these must be just in, insert panels inside her as well um, you could, obviously remember you've got a top and lower deck on this as well so again you've got all this stuff going on with the steps to go up in the back there Another big bag here Okay, so there's the base that it all sits on, and we've got all the detail underneath it as well. So if you want to have it laying on a side, which I mean, some modelers, who knows what they want to do with it in a diorama, but you could have it on its side and there's detail underneath it as well. Um, just looking at the end, this is the roof obviously, and just looking at this, there's actually, hopefully you can pick it up on the video, there's nice rivets over the, those seam lines there running beside them and they're really nice actually very very fine so you have to be careful when you're seeing this back you don't destroy all that rivet detail on there um, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem and if you wanted to re-rivet it you could I guess because sanding these up to get that beautiful mirror finish on it's going to be something you'll probably will destroy those rivets unfortunately because they're so fine um, but it's something we'll have to look at when we actually go to paint it the only thing with big sprues like this guys in a big box well, I can see this thing's got a bit of a twist to it so don't be surprised when you go to put some of this together, some of the, the plastic will be twisted. You can use a hair dryer to re-straighten some of it, I guess. Um, or just clamp it in place when you glue it and it'll, you know, it'll hold it in place then. Uh, but there is definitely a twist in that sprue there. But it has been sitting in the box up on its end, so that, that was my fault. Um, nothing to do with the Revel boxing or anything. Uh, which, actually, that's another thing too. Revel boxing with a, a lid you can take off rather than having to open it from the ends was a great idea. I wish Revel would do all their kits like that. Uh, so we've got all the drive stuff going on down here, exhaust system. Uh, again, really nice detail. So if you want to tip her upside down, uh, there's no reason why you can't. It's all there. Looking at the fan up here, beautiful detail moulding into that for a fan and a bus. Uh, like I say, we've got a full engine in here that we can we can play around with. So that's really nice. And again, the interior of the roof here, got a lovely rivet de detail going on all these seams. Uh, very, very nice indeed. Oh, this box, this looks like, yep, yeah, now engine, as you can see, even by, look at that, the, the, the size of that, that donk, that's huge. You see by the size of that, that those blocks here for that engine block, this thing is quite a monster. She's a big chunk of a machine. So, I'll put that out of sight, and that's more engine detail going on there, obviously. <coughs> um, they're not complete, the same sprues, they've got lots of different parts on them, so you see there's quite a bit of detail that go on this. Um, so it is going to build up quite nice. So it'd be a shame to build it up and then close inside a bonnet. But I mean, yeah, you might want to have it running up the street, so you won't have to build the engine. You just have to put the bonnet over it, and no one will know anyway. But I would love to be able to show this engine off. It's so much detail. It's a shame to waste it. But yep, yeah, very very nice for that. But I actually have seen a couple of these built up on the net, and they do come up actually really beautiful. Guys, there's some 
Um, the only with bags like this, always check because I see a couple little parts rolling around the bottom of that bag. So don't just throw your bags out. Make sure they're definitely empty, guys, because I actually have been caught before throwing stuff out um, by doing that. And here's the front part of our cab. Um, we'll probably call it a cockpit if we want, I guess. Um, but yeah, again, beautiful detail in there. Really, really nice. Um, nice and crisply moulded. A little bit of flash. You can see around that wheel guard there. Uh, none around the windows that I can see. There's only one little bit of flash of it see on that whole thing, so that's quite nice. Where it's joined up here, they're quite big chunks where it's joined on. But um, there is an insert that'll go in there, so that, that you'll be able to clean those up. They won't be a problem. They won't be anywhere you can't clean them up without any hassle. So uh, that'll be quite nice. Just looking at how nice everything is on here. Just the moulding on this is absolutely beautiful. It really is. Even the, uh, the headlights there, the inserts where the headlights go, very, very nice. So, yep. It's one of those things you go through a kit like this and um, I actually get excited about building it now just by looking at the thing because it is really, really nice. I'm very, very impressed with it just how nice some of this is. Like I say, I've seen one of these almost quite a long time ago, but I have seen inside one of these boxes before. Um, but you know, when it's someone else's kit, you don't spend too much time, you just sort of quickly have a look at it and see what goodies are in there and you know, you don't spend too much time. Uh, whereas where it's your own, you will spend a bit more time. We'll be going through it now, and here's the ones I really want to look at. So these are your side, stuck together there. These are the sides, and again that detail continues on exactly like everything else. Just beautiful detail, all the riveting and everything going on there. It's absolutely superb. I'm really impressed with the detail on this thing. Uh, our steps, again the plates are done like they're, they're sort of moulded in there, but they're raised and got the big rivets um, or bolt heads or whatever it is they stuck the steps on with. It's all there. Um, you see some interior stuff here that's in there as well. Um, up in here, this much might be inside the, the engine uh, engine bay, but all wiring attached to that. Uh, just forgive the chopper in the background, guys, and you all know I live in an airport. Just look at our mirrors over here. Again, nice handles where they come off. There's a few grab handles on there as well. But um, yeah, very, very impressive. Just like the rest of the kit, like I expected it to be, I guess. I didn't expect it to be anything different. Um, so we got. I'm not sure whether that's dash or whether that's part in the engine bay, firewall or something there, I'm not really sure. Looks like a glove box in there. But um, again, all this detail that's in all these parts is really, really nice. There's obviously your driver's seat there with the cushion on top, steering wheel there, uh, some more panels to be inserted, and then on the other side of the bus over there, which is exactly the same as the opposite side. Very, very nice indeed. Um, and there's those two big pieces that go up underneath on the sides that I was talking about. I wasn't really sure what they were, but um, yeah, they will be. They look quite nice. I'm sorry about the light there, guys. And then we've got all the clear parts. I really don't want to take these out of the packets, guys. I like to keep them as protected as I can because they're such big pieces and they're flat. I don't want them rubbing around and getting scuffed up because it'll, it'll take forever and a day to clean them all up. There's so many of them on there. So they probably won't come out of the packets until I'm actually going to put them into the bus, but they all look they all look nicely moulded. Actually, I see one there has already got a scuff mark right across the middle of a big scratch mark, but that would be my own fault for having it. Actually, no, it's on the plastics already. Got. But if they are knocked around, it would be my own fault because I've had it stored up on its side and it got moved around a bit. So, um, But looking for distortion, even through the plastic, can't see much distortion in there, looking side on. They're not overly thick, they're actually quite nicely moulded. Um, you get some, you get some uh, auto kits like cars and stuff where you have real thick glass and it's all distorted and you've got to do a lot of work to polish it up. These actually qu look quite nice. And they've got quite a few stubs joining them up, but they'll clean off. They're all on the flat surfaces and not on the corners, which is good. I've seen that where they have glass and I'll have it attached onto the corners and it's a real pain to, to do them. Then you'll have a gap in the seam when you, when you go to join it on. And here's our tyres, and they're all nicely moulded. Actually, normally, when you have tyres in these kits, what tends to happen, they'll have a big ugly seam that sticks out in the middle of the, the tread pattern somewhere, but these haven't got it. Um, can't see where they're actually being moulded, but there's a seam line on there, to be honest. Maybe around the inside there is a little bit, but not, not too bad, and they'll be covered because the rim will be inserted in there. So I can't actually see a seam around that. All that. 
No, I'm not sure how they, where they've actually moulded those in. There's a couple little points on the inside there that must have just all been that sun done from the inside. So that's really good. They haven't got that seam to clean up there. Very nice indeed. And you've got all your small writing and stuff. Well, there's no writing, but the, the actual um, patterns that they have on the side walls is all there as well. Really nice and fine detail, especially towards the centre there. It's really nice. Now, see this one here's got a bit of a flat spot going on there, but you can always put that on the bottom. And again, on a bus, I mean, if you want to, you can have these bent rubber. You can, there's tricks you can do where you can flatten the bottom off a little bit anyway and bulge it a little bit. But, um, that's something we'll look at when we put it together. But that's pretty much it, guys. And um, what you see is a huge kit, lots of goodies inside there. Um, and by all means, probably not the cheapest kit around. I mean, it's, it, it's you know over a hundred dollars, so it's not a cheap kit. So you want to take the time, put it together properly when you're gonna when you're gonna build these sorts of things. But I've got to say, I'm truly impressed with with what's in there. Um, there is so much gear in there. It's a huge box, and it is pretty much full except for you know, a little bit where I added in the end. It is pretty chock a block full of good stuff. So um, it's going to be interesting to see how it goes together, uh, and it'll probably be a little while before I get to this one, guys. But um, it's one I'm really looking forward to doing. So anyway, there's not much all I can tell you about. It's going to take me half an hour to repack all this now so the box closes. But um, like always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up down there. Um, subscribe to the channel if you like my videos. There's a big sub button down there you can whack. Um, and there's also a heap of links down there for you to check out for Facebook and Patreon. And there's all sorts of links down there you can have a look at. But like always, guys, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.